Hello, everyone. Let's take a closer look at the letter G. What sound does G make? G. 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 Girl. G. G. Gorilla. G. G. Goat. G. G. Gate. G. G. Grapes. And G says G. G. Front of the book. There's the back of the book. The spine. Our title, Gorilla Be Good. Gorilla Be Good book was written by Maria Fleming, that's the author, illustrated by Matt Phillips, the illustrator. So let's read and wonder why Gorilla is told to be good. On Monday, I went to the zoo. Guess who followed me home? Who do you think's following me home? You're right, the gorilla. A gorilla. I asked my mom if he could stay. If he's a good guest, mom said. On Tuesday, Gorilla broke Granny's glasses and gabbed on the phone all day. When you gab, you do a lot of talking. And look right there. Gorilla, be good. On Wednesday, Gorilla trampled the grapes growing in the garden. Oh, no. On Thursday, Gorilla gobbled up a gooseberry pie, a gallon of ice cream, and other goodies. So Gorilla's having some problems. Look at that. On Friday, Gorilla dressed like a ghost and scared the goldfish. Gorilla, please be good. On Saturday, Gorilla glued gumdrops to Dad's galoshes. And galoshes are like water shoes when it's raining. Look at that. Gumdrops, candy all over the shoes. Scared the fish out of the fishbowl. On Sunday... Gorilla invited a gang of friends over. The gorillas played golf and other games. They made a great big mess. Look at the house. Look at the room. And he said, Gorilla, please be good. That gorilla must go, Mom said. He has been a terrible guest. Little boy says, goodbye, gorilla. And look at the gorilla's face. Like some of you do sometimes. You pretend like you haven't done anything when you're guilty like the gorilla. Oh my goodness. On Monday, I went to visit gorilla at the zoo. Guess who followed me home? Who was that? A goat. Mom says, good grief. So thumbs up if you think the goat's going to stay. Thumbs down if you think not. I don't know. Let's listen to this G cheer. G is for gorillas on the loose. G is for gopher, go fish, and goose. G is for granny, giggle, and glass. G is for gumdrops, grapes, and grass. Hooray for G, big and small, the grandest, greatest letter of all. And you hear all those G words, all small. Grass, glass, rhyming words there, loose, goose. And those are words that win the story. Go fish, granny, glass, grapes, gumdrops, gorilla. Nice G story. Practice making your G's. Be curved. Stick something in its mouth. That's uppercase, capital G. Lowercase G, small curve, long line, and a hook. Gorilla, be good.